Make it to midnight is Rec Room's newest RRO to the series. Today, I'm going to be talking my opinions on Make It to Midnight and what I think about it. And yeah, that's basically it, really. I don't want to spoil too much. So, editor, get ready to play the intro in a minute. Um, yeah. Is that bonky? So, Make It To Midnight released on August 17th, 2023. By the time of me recording this, it's been two weeks. Uh, Make It To Midnight is basically just Dead By Daylight. A 1v4 situation game where, basically, there's like three generators and the survivors have to repair the generator and escape. I think this is pretty cool concept though. I don't think a Rec Room has ever done this before, but I think it's pretty good. Also, we have to say as well, Bonky. Bonky is the clown and the survivors have to get out and not get hit by Bonky. You get a stamina, basically a hundred stamina, and you can run, you can dash, and Bonky has some abilities which I will go over soon. New Rec Room original, it comes with new stuff, like the abilities. You can see all the abilities on screen there. Um, we've also got something that Bonky can apparently jump. Here's a clip on screen here. Um, I think he can jump really high, bro. He's like Mario, bro. Guys like Mario. So, I think this RRO is pretty good. But let's go through my next thing which I'm going to talk about. Alright, editor, play the next clip. The next thing I want to talk about is, obviously, what do I think will get added next to make it to midnight? I think what will get added next is, personally, probably some more maps if they did that. Knowing Rack Room, they probably won't do it because they're probably working on another RRO right now. Who knows? But... Honestly, I think a rundown carnival type of map would be insane. I think it would be really cool that we saw the actual map of carnival which we play in be an actual map. I think that would be really cool, but honestly, the RRO just came out like two weeks ago, so by the time of me recording this, yeah. Um, okay, let's move on to my next topic. Nah, do you think that's really the end of the video? Nah, that's not the end of the video, bro. I've got more. Next point is, Make It To Midnight is not good on screen mode. Make It To Midnight on screen mode is not good, but it's good, but not as good. The VR version, however, it's a whole new experience. You can also hide in cubicles. I forgot to mention that. You can hide in cubicles. Yep, you can hide in legit cubicles. I am surprised. So, also, my next point is, you can also... Um, there's slides. Yeah, there's slides. I love slides. For my final topic is my rating. My rating out of 10 is probably going to be an 8.5. It's pretty good, isn't it? An 8.5 is pretty solid, but why is it not a 10? What I will say, however, I think they should have added more variety. Probably one more map, and it would probably give me that 10 out of 10 slot. But probably another map after that. Three maps, maybe. That'll be good. But also, if you did enjoy this very short video, Please like and subscribe. I appreciate that. Anyway, I'm going to leave my friend now. I'm actually going to end it now. Alright, I'll see you later. <laughs>